I cannot go to the village without taking my cow pack. I love your retro music. Maladets. Konin Uz Kutu Bolson. What? Yes, Isa's wonderful mother has come to my rescue. If you want a rubber bike, you come here. You've got the horses ready for Besh Barmak. He could easily bite my little finger off. <laughs> oh. Whoa, sorry, I didn't realize the camera was recording there. The reason I'm yawning is because today is an early start. Today is a day for adventure, a day for new experiences. Here is the plan. My new friend Isa has been very kind to invite me to join her on a journey to her home village. Every time I visit a new country, I always do my best to visit a rural village. Because as you can imagine, the lifestyle of people living in the village is different to people living in a giant city like, for example, Bishkek. So yeah, that is the plan. Right now it's around 8 a.m. And in fact, if you just look out the window, the sun is still half asleep. The meeting time is nine o'clock. And then from there, I believe we are taking a four hour taxi to the village. Hopefully I have enough leg space. See you at the taxi, peace. Look at what I nearly forgot, guys. My cow pack. I cannot go to the village without taking my cow pack. Come on, Scott. Get it together. Goodbye, my beautiful Soviet Union style flat. I will miss you more than you know. See you in a couple of days. Let's go. It's a beautiful day. Don't let it get away. I just want to apologize for any headaches caused as a result of my atrocious singing. At least you've never seen me at karaoke. Let's breathe in some fresh air. One, two, three. Ah, what a beautiful morning. Oh, woo. that cold air gives you the shivers. Okay, time to book a taxi and get to the meeting point. Be on the lookout for a gray Honda. That is our taxi today. Where is he? Should be here any, any moment now. You've got this really cool app called Yandex. If you ever come to Kyrgyzstan or Uzbekistan, you can use this app. It's basically the Russian Uber, Yandex. Y-A-N-D-E-X. Secure, good value for money. What more do you want? If you try and use an ordinary taxi driver, they will try and extort you until you're on the verge of bankruptcy. These guys, they are ruthless. Be safe and stick with Yandex. Dobry utra, bratan. Good morning, my friend. Okay. Bismillah. You? Part English? Oh, I don't speak English. Oh, okay, I study. okay. It's cool, English. <laughs> okay, no problem. How are you? Kadaisis, Kagdila. Oh, okay. Oh, super, okay. You are super taxi driver. Da, da, da. I yes, see. Yes, good, yes. good rating. 4.7. Very nice. Whoa, we're having discotheque. Russian music, Bratan, yes. But sounds like Spanish or Latin music. Me and my new taxi driver, we're already best friends. He's now my Jandos. He supports Manchester City. Hmm? He loves in Enrique Iglesias. I love your retro music. Yeah. <laughs> my taxi driver loves old music. Old music is the best music. Before we go, Bratan, I just want to say one more thing. Sorry, I know you're a busy man. I'll be fast. I want to say to you, Bratan, Konin Uz Kutu Bolson. What? Super. Yes, inshallah. Good luck. Salam alaikum. Thank you, Bratan. And your English good? Mm -hmm. Goodbye, my friend. What a nice man. Since I'm a guest in the village today, it's only right that I come bearing gifts. So right now, I find myself in a local magazina and I'm going to buy some chocolates and some sweets because let's be honest, who doesn't like chocolates? There's so many different options on offer. Just look at the variety. My God, the sweet section starts here and it goes all the way along and this is where it ends. My sweets are ready. Thank you so much, Karin Dash. And we say, Chong Rachmat. <laughs> and I'm gonna take some extra socks as well because when me and Isa yesterday looked at the temperature in the village, it was minus 10 degrees. So the last thing I want is frostbite on one of my toes. So to play it safe, I've got some Slazinger socks. Amazing. Okay, Karen Dash, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. The journey has begun, guys. I have to be extra careful because we're on a main road here. Okay, let's go. Bismillah. This is our driver for today, Bratan. Okay, my friend, let's go. Kedik. I am here with Isa, my wonderful new friend, and her awesome mama, her mother. 
and right now we are on a road trip to the village and the name of the village Isaac can you remind me? Kuzuldeva. Kuzuldeva. Oh my god. I'm having difficulty saying it in Kyrgyz but the English translation is Red Hill. Red Hill. It sounds very menacing, a little bit scary to be honest but it's a beautiful place. Uh, yes. I don't know, just Red Hill, it's like we're going to Mars or because something. Because have like some Red Hill too. Ah, okay. Uh, I can't wait to see it. I've never seen a Red Hill. Welcome to the Machina. Okay, we've got a full car. So now our driver is going to drive at the speed of light. And we're going to get to the village super soon. Guys, I want to show you this Krasiva Sabaka, this beautiful dog. Oh, he's coming. Let's take him to the red to the village. I want to give you a quick update on our progress. The journey is going as well as you can hope for. I saw we are about 50%. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, we we're about halfway to our destination, the village. I didn't have time to grab breakfast earlier today when I woke up, and I'm on this, I'm on the verge of starvation. But thankfully, Alhamdulillah, Isa's wonderful mother has come to my rescue and given me some M&Ms, which of course I'm sharing. I'm not eating all of them to myself. That's very kind of her. <laughs> and if I look out the window, ah, you can see a little bit. Look, we've got these gorgeous mountains. We've got the beautiful Kyrgyz mountain down here. Right now we are taking a small break from the journey to hopefully get some delicious food and we stopped in a local town the name of which is Kocherko I don't think I'm saying that right and right now we are going on a little mini adventure through the bazaar oh it's so cold down here oh let's get back into the sunshine this is where you come if you want your new pair of shoes if you want a rubber bike you come here you get yourself a ski mask is that ice? Guys, this is literal, literally ice. Look at it, it's just... It's like I'm at an ice skating rink. Inim, salam alaikum. Kadai says, how are you? Good man. This is what's on offer, guys. You've got the Simsa. What's your time? What? Plastic in the microwave. <laughs> what? I think we found the best restaurant in the entire town. This place is busy. Look at all these people. Everybody wants samsas. In this taxi, we are like a big family. This is Papa and Mama. We've got Uncle. We've got the kids in the background. And we've got the brother and the sister. And my new little sister in the back, Karin Dash, was very, very kind. She has given everybody an apple. And this is such a delicious, juicy apple. Actually, really nice. Mm, I like it. Thank you, Karin Dash. As expected, the closer you get to the village, the worse the condition of the road becomes. For example, look at the road right now. Maybe you can hear us, the, the bumpiness. It will get worse. Yeah. It will become worse apparently, so we have that to look forward to. It looks like we've got a little bit of traffic ahead. It's a flock of sheep. Look at them. Come on guys, move it. Wiggle, wiggle them bones. Come on. As you can see guys, I am not in a car anymore. We have arrived at Isa's family home. We're just about to have a meal, which consists of some delicious naan, some bread. What I'm most excited to show you is what we have here. I said this is pomegranate, correct me? Pomegranate or? It's jam. Jam. But is it raspberry? Raspberry. I'm not entirely sure. I will try it and I will let you know. But I know with 100% certainty what this is. This is actually honey. But if you look, because it's cold, and also because it's very thick, it doesn't move a lot. Isa's wonderful mother, or as you call here in Kyrgyzstan, Mama, 
is spoiling us today. Not only have we had some amazing jam, raspberry and honey flavored, but now she has brought some homemade juice. Uh, Kampot. Kampot is the correct name. On first impressions, I thought they were boiled eggs inside the jar. Let me show you. But actually, these are peaches. This will last for one year. It's okay to drink for one year until it goes bad. I'm quite happy it's not boiled eggs because that doesn't sound as appealing as some delicious peaches. Aisa is going to do the honors and open it. You can do it, Aisa, I believe in you. Okay guys, I just want to smell it. Just, It's always good. When you're trying something new, you should use all your senses. Of course, <laughs> when you're drinking or eating, you are using your taste sense, but you should also feel. Oh, it's very <laughs> cold. Oh my god. And now we're gonna smell. Does it smell like egg? <sighs> no, thankfully not. Oh my god, that would be disgusting. No, I'm happy it doesn't smell like egg, but it smells very sweet. <sighs> I don't know, it reminds me of my childhood. Some delicious, sweet, sugar rich syrup. Okay, guys, three, two, one. No, should I be? No. <laughs> Can you pour like this? Pour like this? Okay. <laughs> Can you? Uh -oh. you need help? <laughs> you just go for it? Yeah. I might make a tiny mess. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh. And we get one of these. Wow, look at that. I'll be the guinea pig. I will try. Oh, it smells so sweet and delicious. Nice. It's so cold. How are you drink it? Oh yeah, it's very nice. This is homemade yeah. by Aisa's mother. Okay guys, it's time for me and Aisa to head into the mountains. But first of all, we need to make sure that we're all wrapped up nice and warm. How many so, shorts you have? Yeah, let That's me count. Strange. I've got one layer, two layer, three layer, four layer, five layer. This is not even mine. <laughs> Aisa's dad, if you're watching, don't worry, I'm gonna look after your jacket like it's my own. And hopefully this is gonna keep me warm enough. Because it's cold in the mountains, right? Yeah. I saw. Let's go say goodbye to your mother and then let's start the journey. Yeah. Awesome. Look at this, it's beautiful. We're feeding the little doggy. Oh, look at him, he's hungry. Mmm, damn do. Look at the dog, he's doing like a, a workout. He's doing sit-ups. He's trying to get a six-pack. What are you doing, my friend? You like that? Where's your tickle spot? Let's find your tickle spot. Right now guys, Isa is taking me on a house tour and in front of us we have... First of all, I want to say Isa, your home is very beautiful and extremely large. Yeah. I thought these were individual homes, like one family, one family, one family. <laughs> and this was all built by your grandfather, yeah. you said. Wow, he did a fantastic job. And in this room, guess what guys? This is where you find what's called banya, banya. but in English you can call it a sauna. I guess, sauna, sauna yeah. yes. So let's go inside, let's see how it is. You do fire here. Ah, so you put the mainly wood or coal. You are putting it in there and yeah. then it burns away and then it creates the heat. Water. Wow, look at this. This is amazing. This is very common yeah. in the Kogi's home to yes. have this. What happened? I think these stayed in the banya for too long. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Good night, my little friend. I hope you're in a better place now. Full of rotten apples and oranges. You have to be careful in the sauna, guys. You have to know your limits. Perfect for this time of the year, I think. And what's the main purpose of inside here? Meat. For eating meat, yeah. <laughs> the traditional Kogi's diet is very rich in meat because it goes back again to the time when Kogi's people were nomadic people. Another dining table. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Can I go in quickly? I'll take off my shoes. Wow, an amazing artwork. Look at this, guys. That is actually very, very accurate representation of the Kogi's nature. You've got the horses ready for Besh Bar Mark. You've got the. I'm sorry. <laughs> you've got the beautiful mountains, amazing trees, and you've got the flat plains below. These are gorgeous. Oh, These are from a local artist? No, he is actually Russian. Are you oh, Russian, okay. And he's 
You can see it's really old one. Ah, here. Yeah, it's really old. 1963, wow. Every time I see a beautiful piece of art like this, it makes me wish I could do art. Maybe I, I just need to practice. And then through here, again, sitting down, drinking chai, eating meat. Wow, that's gorgeous. Look at the colors. Look at that, guys. It doesn't even look like a painting. It looks like a photo because it's got this crazy reflection. What? He's very talented. That is gorgeous. Look at that, guys. It's really nice. The mountains, the cliffs, the trees, the water. This one looks like the sun is setting. You have these two horses, best friends, maybe husband and wife galloping into the sunset. And you've got the, the mountains in the background illuminated by the warm glow of the sun. And here, this is when you have a couple of pivots and maybe you want to dance to some traditional Kyrgyz music. And what does sheep eat? Uh, you know, what is bread made of? Flour. flour. What is flour made of? Wheat. Whatever sheep eats, it's, it's in this room. Yeah. Imagine waking up to see this every morning. I would never get bored of such a view. It's amazing. And today we're very lucky. We're blessed with the beautiful sunshine. Oh my God. Huh? It's an eagle. Guys, whoa. This room is in summer. You can put this table and just chill. Yeah, awesome. What's his name? Is that a real eagle? Yes. He could easily bite my little finger off. Wow. So real, That's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Do they have it? Does he have a name? No. No. Mukut. Mukut. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. And here, guys, we have a reserve of lots of coal and lots of wood. This will keep you warm throughout the winter, yeah. Isa. To, to keep the fire burning. Oh my God, it's so warm in here. Yeah. This is the heating. So you burn the coal. The, yeah. the first step is to burn the coal and then the heat generated yeah. from burning it will circulate around the house. Back into the code. We have finished in the human's home. Now it's time to see where the sheep live. And let's say hello to these three magnificent creatures. Dobli den. All I want to do is stroke these wonderful sheep and show them some love, but unfortunately they're a little bit scared. I think they think, that's a lot of thinks, too many thinks, I think. My four-legged friends, I promise you, I'm not going to turn you into Besh you have to, you have to trust me. I just want to stroke you, just one time, one time, one time, one time. Okay, suit yourself. So as you can see, they've got the thick wool. Uh, this is how the traditional Kogi's tun is made by shaving this wool off the sheep. And this is where you come if you want to go sunbathing. In my childhood, I loved to climb. Okay, guys, here we go. Three, two, one. one. I'm gonna do something silly. <laughs> nice. ah. Wow, I'm on top of the world. <laughs> this is quite comfortable. Oh, we're going up. Oh, yeah, it's amazing up here. You can see the mountains all around. I'm so I'm scared. Can you catch me? <laughs> the easy part is always going up. The most difficult part is going down. I nearly tumbled to my death. One, two, three. Whoa. Now that the house... Excuse me, Mr. Chicken. Ah, some peace and quiet, finally. Now that we've finished the house tour, it's time. Okay, let's try again. Now it's time to go to the mountains. <laughs> so our mode of transport for today is this extremely beautiful machina. The brand of this car is Lada, which is a Russian made car. Here in Central Asia, given the fact that they are ex-Soviet Union countries, you will find these all over the place. So here it is, L-A-D-A. -A. Most of the time the Ladas are white, but this one is beautiful. Okay, let's jump in. Today we have the best driver in the village, Mr. Bikey himself. Here he is. Let's get, oh, nice and warm in here. Okay, Bismillah. 
الخير الرحمن الرحيم اوه ما شاء الله ما شاء الله بيوتيفول السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اوه هيز ا جود مان اوه كاري شو براتان I'm proud of you guys. You made it to the end of the video. And I will even admit that was a long video. If you appreciate my efforts, can I suggest you consider supporting me on my Patreon page? The link for which is in the description below. Until next time, goodbye and have a fantastic day. I love you.